Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and today we'll be cleaning up our code a little bit. I made a little bit, a little checklist to just change things that I found were uh, undesirable. So, one of the first things you should do, we'll try to start from the top and work our way down, is externalize this Java here. Um, so, we're going to create a new class we're going to call that class validate and this class will have any function that, that validates input so as you as you recall we have all these validations validate we have these three validate functions and we're going to put them here format and we need to bring along with that the imports so that we don't lose them so we need java util here import okay come back here simple date format it's another import we need format okay come back here we don't need that anymore um, and we'll also have this we'll say that this is MySQL related so we'll put it in our MySQL class format it and we also need a simple date format for that okay that error is resolved um, this is saying never used so we don't need it warnings here come back here and we need to change these references to validate dot copy it paste it here paste it there paste it there save it so that it recognizes the changes this is actually MySQL format save okay so we lost our JavaScript format here again. So let's fix that up. Save it. It's all fixed. So what we're going to do is also externalize this JavaScript. So we're going to add to our JS folder new um, we'll just say file and we'll call it validate.js and this will have our validation functions for JavaScript in there. So we need to have the regex and all this. And this is just in case we need to validate for other web pages, which is going to be likely since we need to make a login page as well. Let's try to get rid of this white space that seems to be uh, useless. Okay, so we come back here and it's looking a little bit cleaner, a little bit smaller, which is the goal. So now that we got rid of that script, let's uh, import it now instead. JS slash validate dot JS. Okay. So we externalized that. Okay. So when I was looking at the code, I also noticed that I never changed this back. We don't want to throw errors. Uh, usually want to handle an error by um, returning uh, a negative one or an error string. You don't want to throw an exception because then the whole page will crash and people will leave your website. Okay. Uh, another thing that uh, you should typically do is when you open a connection, which we open a connection right here, you should always close it. Always. So MySQL close C I'll close our connection. And another thing that we should do is add CSS to our form. Now we could put that right under this link style type equals text slash CSS. And we're going to make the first table data so 
table data that are the first child of this document will be right well uh, text align is right and table data that are the last child will have a color of red now there's lots of ways we could have selected this child um, because we could have selected by attribute where the ID ends with underscore error so that's going to end up appearing with red text so if we refresh this and uh, click off this now it's going to be red text instead of black text so that the error shows up easier and people know it's actually an error not just text that's popping out for no reason so we have the alignment and also as I was writing the validation for JavaScript I instead of writing date here instead of writing date I wrote D originally I changed it and another thing is that date it actually needs to be plus one um, otherwise it'll, show, it'll be the wrong date so we have that now um, another thing is if we are unable to connect to the database which is what this if is checking for if we're unable if the connection is null then we should have some kind of error saying that we were unable to connect so let's add another variable here sign up error which is going to be initially empty string format it and the sign up error is uh, going to say unable to connect the database please try again later okay which is better than nothing my opinion so that's associated with this so we're going to put it here uh, sign up error format that come back up here before this gets too far off okay ripped needs to be back up here and this needs to be a back up here this needs to be back up here put this back up here and just so that this stops happening I'm going to also externalize this new file and I'm just gonna call it after the file name dot js though and I'm going to 